This video is brought to you by Han Solo Frozen and Carbonite Pop-Tarts. Why? Because this needs to be a thing already. Let's be real. Here's AJ with the news. Oh, he's so adorable. What's up, everybody? AJ from the League of Extraordinary Frontmen here with another episode of the Nerd News. If you guys can do me a favor and just make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. All right, and some nerd news. Uh, Kitty Pride movie directed by Tim Miller in the works. Despite the Disney deal, it seems to be business as usual at 24th Century Fox until they're told differently. We're hearing that Tim Miller is developing a movie movie focusing on Kitty Pride, a.k.a. Shadowcat. According to Collider sources, Deadpool director Tim Miller is developing an X-Men spinoff based around the exploits of Kitty Pride, a.k.a. Shadowcat, who was played by Ellen Page in The Last Stand and Days of Futures Past. Of course, just because a movie is in development doesn't mean it will actually go into production. Disney's recent ac acquisition of a good chunk of 21st Century Fox's assets means that things are very much up in the air for the studio right now, but it seems they plan on continuing, as, continuing on as normal until they hear otherwise. It was recently revealed that Fox is still actively developing several other previously announced spinoffs such as X-Force, Gambit, and a potential sequel to the New Mutants, so they're obviously at least cautiously optimistic about getting these other projects up and running. Uh, I mean, like, I guess I can see that happening. Um, she was she was a cool character in the movies, but, I mean, you know, I don't really know what, what else, you know, 21st Century Fox can actually do with these characters, so, especially with Disney stepping in soon. But it's going to be about a year or so before we actually see any of that happening. Fox's Gambit movie loses yet another director. Gambit has lost its third director after Rupert Wyatt, Doug Lehman, decided to walk away. But why has Gore Ver Ver Verbininski quit? And will the spinoff be delayed? Well, what do you think? Of course it's going to be. Remember when Gambit was supposed to be released in October of 2016? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Well, the movie currently has a release date of February 14th, 2019, but whether or not it can meet that is now completely up in the air. Deadline and a number of outlets have confirmed that Gore Verbinski is the latest filmmaker to walk away from the project, but this is said to be uh, a split which is a result of scheduling issues. Rupert Wyatt and Doug Lehman quit the Marvel movie over creative differences, but it's hard not to wonder if there's if there may be more to the story than meets the eye for now Channing Tatum remains attached to star and the studio is uh, presumably looking for a replacement uh, I guess at this point I would just let it go um, you've lost three directors already Disney bought uh, 21st Century Fox and I'm just gonna go out on a whim here and say Disney's not gonna let this movie happen at this point but I mean, I, I can see Channing Tatum play ga playing Gambit. He looks he, he looks like he could play Gambit, but, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'd like to see him in, like, an X-Men movie or something. That would be pretty cool, but I guess time will tell. Another news, Deadpool 2 gets an earlier release to May 18th. The Merc with the Mouth is going to have to put in maximum effort to prepare for the new Deadpool 2 release date, and Ryan Reynolds has shared a new promo image which proves Wade is indeed ready for action. It was announced that Deadpool 2 would be hitting theaters two weeks earlier than previously scheduled, and now star Ryan Reynolds has taken to Twitter to mark the announcement with an awesome new promo image. The pick features Wade Wilson's signature katana swords, and as you can see, he's named his weapons after his favorite golden girl, B. Arthur. You're welcome, Michelle. I am so fucking excited for this. I'm a huge Deadpool fan. I love Ryan Reynolds' as Deadpool, um, and it's even more... Uh, awesome because you've got coming up in May you've got Infinity War coming out in May, on May 4th then Deadpool 2 and then the following week you have the uh, the Han Solo so, uh, spinoff movie coming out so that's like three weeks of going to the fucking movies and that's uh, that's gonna break my wallet but I don't care in DC News the Batman standalone film Matt Reeves has revealed that he has a story in place but there's still no script and Justice League's disappointing performance both critically and financially has left Ben Affleck's future in doubt as well uh, a new report claims to provide an update on where things stand and it's a mixture of good and bad news for starters it's implied that the Batman will not be connected to DC films uh, to the DC films universe and will in fact be a standalone similar to that movie revolving around the Joker that Warner Brothers has planned as a result 
it's easy to imagine Reeves uh, recasting Affleck and starting from scratch. However, there is still some hope for fans of the, his Caped Crusader. Warner Brothers reportedly wants to give him a send-off in either Suicide Squad 2 or Flashpoint. The former is scheduled to start shooting this fall, while the latter remains very much up in the air, so if Affleck is anxious to call it quits, that would be a good place to make it happen. How will it end up playing out obviously remains to be seen. All right. Um, I don't know why Warner Brothers just keeps doing this. Um, I'm all for a Batman standalone film, and I'm all for like a detective aspect with Batman because Batman is a detective, and it just doesn't necessarily have to always be like the world is going to end scenario. But but you've got a you've got a Joker movie coming out that is supposed to be a gangster movie, and you're not even using your Joker from the DC EU. Um, you're recasting a new Joker. Now you're going to write a, a new Batman movie that has nothing to do with your current films, and it's going to star somebody else as well. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. You're going to be confusing the audience. Like the, the, the typical comic book reader understands it, but you know, at the end of the day, these are this is entertainment. You know, the the normal Joe who doesn't read comic books or anything is going to go to a theater thinking. All right, yeah, a new Batman movie. Wait, what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. You know, like, it makes no fucking sense to me. And that, that's why Warner Brothers is just ruining great characters and making terrible, terrible movies. Except for Wonder Woman. I really, really love that movie. And I'm so glad they're doing a sequel and the director is still on board to do it. Speaking on uh, horrible DC Warner Brother movies, Warner Brothers and DC released a trailer for Teen Titans Go!, I am not a fan of Teen Titans Go whatsoever. I'm still upset that they canceled the other Teen Titans show that was on Cartoon Network years ago. I mean, that one, it was goofy at times, but it was more serious and straightforward. I've tried sitting through some of these episodes of Teen Titans Go, and I just can't do it. I understand it's for kids. I understand this movie is directed towards kids, but I am not spending the money on going to see this whatsoever. I, I, I refuse to. I just I can't do it. I mean, if, if a trailer can make someone terminally ill, this trailer would definitely give me a, some sort of disease. In Transformers news, Mark Hamill and Ron Perlman confirmed for Transformers animated series. Hasbro and Machinima are ramping up the star power for the final act of their Transformers Prime Wars trilogy with both, both Mark Hamill and Ron Perlman. Hamill actually makes his debut as Megatronus, the Fallen, and, to, and the finale of Transformers Titans Return. Perlman, meanwhile, will make his debut in the third and final chapter of the trilogy, Transformers Power of the Primes, which is set to debut in the spring of 2018. Perlman will voice Op Optimus Primal and will be joined by a star-studded cast that includes fan favorites Hamill, Judd Nelson as Rodimus Cron, Will Wheaton as Preceptor, Jamie King as Solace Prime, WWE superstar Samoa Joe as Predaking, Dashy Kings as Menasaur, Matt Pat, Comptron, and Rob Dyke as Devastator. The Titans Returns finale and the powers of the Primes debut on Go90 Worldwide, except in China, where it airs on Shohu.com in Japan. Power of the Primes will consist of 10 episodes, which will be 11 minutes in length. And lastly, in trailer news, Hellraiser Judgment trailer released. Evil seeks evil in the latest Hellraiser Judgment trailer. Pinhead is back and even scarier than before. I don't know about you guys, but this fucking movie looks sick as hell. I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm a huge fan of horror. Um, you know, I haven't seen a lot of Hellraiser, um, but I'm a big like Friday the 13th fan and Freddy Krueger fan, so I'm definitely going to see this one, so... Be on the lookout. Hellraiser Judgment will be out on DVD and Blu-ray February 13th. That's going to do it for the nerd news this week, guys. Um, be sure to like and subscribe the League of Extraordinary Frontmen here on YouTube. Make sure to like this video. Also, be sure to check out our podcast on the Metal Syndicate at metalsyndicate-ct.com. Here's a clip from last week's episode. You know, Matt, were you the same 10 years ago? <laughs> I certainly wasn't. Exactly. Yeah, there's yeah. some Who's like 30-something in A New Hope? Ten. Hashtag Han, you've changed. Ten years ago, yeah, I was a fucking idiot. <laughs> See, <sighs> but people are going to complain that it's not the same character. But all being told to us by Billy D. Williams at a bar. <laughs> yeah, uh, that would be cool. <gasps>
You know, especially like right after Han's funeral or something like that, where he had to say goodbye to his uh, friend. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're welcome. You know, fuck you, Disney. I'll take care of it. Bro. I'll, I'll hold my beer. I got this from here. You want to take over for Ron Howard? <laughs> they are face bombing it right now. <laughs> They're face bombing it right now. Yeah. They're like, oh, we should have oh, thought of this. Should have well, got Bob Iger is listening to the show. I'm just going like, oh, yeah. damn it. Also, be sure to uh, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash metal syndicate. Again, uh, you know, we do this guy, we do this every week for you guys. You know, it costs us a lot of money to maintain the website and everything like that. So if you want to throw in a couple bucks every month, it would definitely keep the lights on and keep this uh, podcast rolling. So, and uh, we really appreciate everyone that's already donated so far. Thanks again, guys, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.